Now, you are looking for a drop in the S&P 500 before we get to the end of the year, but as we you know, move along through the months and nothing quite happens, are you as convinced as you are at the beginning of the year that we'll see some kind of correction? I think my year in price target is 2350. Mm -hmm. um, not massively lower than where we are right now. And I, but 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 uh, 150 points is not nothing. No, yeah, and you have to get there, right? Yeah. Um, and and with three and a half months, so I'll probably be taking that price target up um, in 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 the, in the coming weeks. There, um, but I think my the broader message is that if you step back, um, you can certainly take the view that globally synchronized growth continues to persist. And uh, with that context against a backdrop of, you know, generally constructive central banking, the question is, is which assets are going to have the best risk adjusted returns? I'm not convinced between now and year end uh, that the U.S. equity markets as a whole are going to are going to have that if, if global gl global growth and global risk appetite remains on. Is, is there something broken about these markets or about the investing classes? No, no. I think if there was something decisively broken, if there was a recession coming around the corner in 2018, then you would see uh, you would see different price action than what we're seeing right now. I think it's really just a matter of where do you want to put your capital. But if you take the view that that the the uh, you know global risk is on, I think you're probably better. You're going to find better returns in emerging markets that have been massively underperformed the S&P 500 for seven years and I think are starting a turnaround. Um, um, one point I would make about U.S. equities, which is that I think you have to make a decision. If you want to be aggressively long U.S. equities between now and year end, which is on one hand, you, ha you can say, well, who is going to lead? Is it going to be tech, which has done a tremendous job in leadership for the first half of the year? But obviously the valuations have been stretched even further. Are they going to keep, keep performing that way? Or, on the other hand, are you going to make a bet that the underperformers, like the small caps, um, are going to suddenly kick into gear? And I think if you're making that bet, that small caps and maybe, you know, by extension financials, are going to really start really outperforming, you're basically betting on that the White House, Congress, get something done on fiscal stimulus. And I think, essentially, you're basically trading a, a political risk in, in that sense. And, 